So there's a lot. There are a lot of triangles there, as you uh, as you can see. Another thing to point out is that it turns out that the density of tessellation is fixed from the front to the back. So we're actually over tessellated in the back, and that's because the application is actually naive. It's just tied to the slider on the side of the screen. So it's using the same level of detail from front to back, whereas a sophisticated application would do it adaptively so that the triangle size in the front and the triangle size in the back would be roughly the same. Um, so this is a little bit inefficient. Can we just uh, go out to something coarsely tessellated? Great, thank you. So now you see, just you're right at the beginning of uh, when things are getting tessellated. Yeah, now we've just got the, the base mesh and it's being animated, things are going up and down. Let's switch to shaded. Okay, and you can see things looks like crap. Um, sorry. This is, what's being, this is what's being passed in. Right, this is the geometry that's being passed in. This is running at around 270 frames a second. Okay, so if we go back to something that looks fairly high fidelity, our frame rate goes down to um, now, with my uh, nearsightedness, um, around 120. So it's, you know, very hand wavy, it's around a factor of two in performance. But the geometric complexity has changed by between a factor of uh, 500 and 